Hello everyone and welcome back for another figure opening video today. Today we are finally looking at the Ram Baikyu bunnies figure that you all probably saw in my update video a couple of days ago or maybe a week ago, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's kick things off by taking a look at the box. So we have Furyu and we also have Jaya Prize up here in the corner. We also have this age warning of to be 15 years and over. I don't know why they have these on here. Is there really a need? Uh, we have our ReZero logo there in the middle. And then we also have Buy Cute Bunnies, Buy Cute Bunnies figure Ram right here in the middle. And she is the pair for Rem, which we opened before. And if you haven't seen that video, please do go check it out. I'll put a link for it around here somewhere so you can click and go have a look because this is a wonderful, wonderful looking pair. And I'm very excited for this. So yeah, we have Ram taking up the entire front there, looking really, really cool. On this side, we have just a lot of safety information. I kind of skipped forward a little bit there, didn't I? <laughs> um, I think we're all used to this now, but just to highlight, it does have the official Kadokwa sticker. So this is official goods. So that's pretty cool. I guess on the other side, we have a nice framed shot of Ram there too. Again, with all the text that we saw before. And then on the other side, we have just a little bit more information. For example, like her her tights are made of actually a tight material so they will move she's 30 centimeters tall so yeah a lot of useful information and then on the bottom we just have by cute bunnies ram and then on the top if i'm right we'll let just this turn around by cute bunnies ram so yeah really cool and again i love that logo super super cool all right we need to get this open so let's take a look okay in with our knife so yeah, you can see that this top corner is a little bit damaged because we did win that in the game center, I believe it was about a month ago, maybe two months ago. It's one of those figures that you see and think, yeah, I've got to go that. <laughs> um, all right, let's open up and take a look, see. Oh, plastic, that's a rarity. All right, here we go. Oh my, she's been beheaded. Oh no. <laughs> All right, looks like I've got a bit of unpacking to do, so give me one sec. Okay, so stand, and here is our stand. And if you haven't seen any of the Buy Cute Bunnies figures before, very simply, the stand is exactly the same as all the time. It has this really nice kind of golden trim around the outside. It has the logo, the B here for B Bunnies. It also has a little bow tie, little bunny ears, and a little fluffy bottom. It's, it's really, really cool stand, but it's exactly the same for all of them. There are two holes here of different sizings, sizes. We have a bigger one here at the front, and then that one's a little bit smaller with a hexagon inside that, there. So that's that. The stand stands at about one centimeter deep, and it is hollow underneath, but it does also have this nice Furu kind of information down there, and the TNK ReZero 2P. So yeah, that's the stand. So let's put that down. And then we have Ram herself, and this is another figure where the head has not been attached to the body straight off. It allows you to do it yourself. And I believe, I'm going to have to double check, but I believe these are the exact same hole sizes for the Rem. So if we wanted to, we could interchange the heads. And it makes me think, can we do the same with the Mikus? Because that would be kind of cool too. Maybe different bodies for different heads. But uh, anyway, so this goes in like so, and we're going to just push that in kind of nicely if we can give that a little little squeeze and ah, ta-da we did it all right so let's kick things off by taking a look at her face so as you can see she has one pink eye that is visible so we can actually see this one here on her right there is another eye underneath her hair so that has been modeled on so if for some reason you were to cut this away <laughs> you could see her other eye um, so it's just good to know that's there good detail her nose does stick out a little bit there and her mouth is quite far indented to show that she has some teeth there also with a little bit of shading so that we can see again that there is a light depth there cool so yeah it's pretty cool her hair as well is really nicely shaded it's got nice a few nice kinds of shades of pink from a kind of more darker color at the top down to this much lighter one in the center she also has this little hair clip here holding her hair to one side so this is a trademark rem and ram thing there's just one little hair here sticking off and it's nice to see just like a little piece kicking off it makes it feel just kind of real on the back all of her hair is pretty solid it's pretty tight together it all comes down to one point nice shading all very good but then her headband is as you would expect bunny eared and unfortunately the bunny ears don't look that great again they look a bit kind of floppy which is i guess natural but also it looked a bit dirty and dusty 
This is a brand new figure, by the way, so it shouldn't look like that straight out of the box. Sorry, train went by at worst timing there. Yeah, it shouldn't look like that when it comes straight out of the box, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. But you can see one is sticking up, one is folded down. So yeah, it's kind of a cute little motif. And again, at a distance, you don't really see too much about it. Uh, just one extra comment too, you'll see that her headband has these really nice white ruffles, if I can get it in the shots. So yeah, very, very, very well thought out. So that's her head, let's move down her body. So moving slightly down the body, we can see she's got this really nice white collar on. This has a lovely amount of detail to it with a few pieces that have been indented around the outside to create a nice kind of, I don't know, like a lace pattern. Very, very cool. She also has this little black bow on her neck around the collar. So this is holding her collar on. Again, really nicely detailed. Very, very cool. Her shoulders and upper chest are all bare for everyone to see, and that's the same around the back, so you can see it's the exact same thing here at the back too. Nice bit of detail too here as well. I do like it when they indent where naturally the body would indent, so that's pretty cool, even with her shoulder blades. So, yeah, very nice. We also have these ruffled arm garters. Thank you, Cecil, for telling me that. We have these really nice ruffled arm garters here. These are nice and pointy, and yep, yeah, just there. And then on each arm, we can see she's wearing these white cuffs with a black button, and that is exactly the same on the other hand down here. Now, while we're on this hand, we may as well take a quick look at the hand itself. We can see that the fingers have kind of been molded individually. These three are a little stuck together. Uh, her thumb does stick out quite a bit. And on this hand, they are all together because they are all in kind of like a clenched semi-fist, I guess. And this looks like you could even put something inside of it so she could hold something behind her. Maybe a microphone or a flag or something, I don't know. But anyway, those are her hands. And we can also see too that she's wearing this very, very shiny bunny costume. And the cool thing about this is it has actually very nice natural looking folds to it. So the way her body's moving, it looks as though this is where her body would fold just naturally. So it's really, really cool. Um, and that's exactly the same on the back too. We can see there's a couple of kind of unique folds here and here where it's all connected in the center. And then going closer to her butt, we can see that she has this little bunny tail. And what would be cool is if they actually made this a little bit fluffier. This kind of solid plastic isn't always the best looking. It just looks like they went with just what was left in the garage or in the factory. But yeah, I mean, it, it's a tail. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So there you go. That's her tail. And then finally, moving down her legs. She has very, very long legs. I mean, just look. <laughs> it's more than her body length. Or more than the top body length. So her legs are very, very nicely detailed. One kicking back a little bit. And the shape is just beautiful. It's very, very sexy. Very cool. But the best part is, like the box says, this is a material. And they put this material on here to make it look as if she's really wearing tights. It's just very, very nicely thought out. So I'll just give you a little bit of a close up there. And yeah, look, you can even move it. You can move it, stretch it. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And then finally, moving down to her shoes, she has these really nice black shiny shoes on. These are very, very high heels or stilettos or whatever you want to call them. These are very, very pointy, very dangerous. She may hurt someone if she steps on them. But there are also these two sticky alley points which are going to go into the stand. So let's get her in her stand. And here she is in her stand. And yes, this is a wonderful BiQ Bunnies figure. It's just as good as all of the others. And it doesn't outrank any of the Mikus or Rems, but it's not any worse than any of them. I mean, it's just a very, very nice figure overall. But I do want to give you all a few pretty shots, so let's take a look.
Okay, and let's go and move you to the shelf. So yeah, this is a really nice looking round figure. I'll see if I can close this door behind me because I got my cat running out. <laughs> now again, the problem we have is this room really does not have that much space. So we are going to put her on this shelf for now. So for now, she's gonna simply go over here with some of the other figures. But hey, if you liked today's video, please do give us a like and please subscribe for many more figures coming very, very soon. Okay, bye.